But the theory is now that we're dealing with one serial killer. Nearly a year to the day since the first gruesome discovery along the Ocean Parkway, Suffolk County Police Commissioner Richard Dormer tells Eyewitness News the theories of the complicated case have changed dramatically, namely that the 10 bodies dumped here from 1996 to 2010 were all the victims of just one person. Serial killers evolve. They change their MOs. They don't necessarily do the same thing all the time. What's common here is the dumping ground. And the victims, all but one of them prostitutes, dumped in a variety of ways over the past 15 years. The first four to be found, the last to be killed, uncovered last December on this windswept stretch of sand. The spring thaw yielded six more bodies, some of them dismembered more than a decade ago. Investigators thought they might have uncovered the work of separate killers, but now Dormer says that theory has changed. The serial killer is working alone, that, uh, you know, the girls that he contacted with uh, met him alone. Which leads to the other astonishing development involving another Craigslist escort named Shannon Gilbert. She'd been missing in the area, cops hunting for her when they made that first discovery. But of all those bodies, not one belonged to Gilbert. And now? Our theory is that this is a coincidence, that she went missing in Oak Beach and has nothing to do with the, uh, the serial killer. So what happened to Shannon Gilbert? Authorities admit they have no idea. That's a mystery. It certainly is. We have 10 bodies now and no Shannon Gilbert, and it's a mystery.